Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Here, you will find valuable information, advice, and reports on digital security and modern technology. We serve as the bridge connecting you to the information you need to live a modern and secure life. It's important that you get engaged and follow us so that you can notice the different cyber issues in your daily life. We offer the latest news, including good explanations of each problem, what to do if it happens, and how to prevent it best. By subscribing and liking the content, give us a like to continue delivering the most important information. Stay safe by being vigilant. With that out of the way, let's delve into today's news. The Cyber Espionage Group Cloud Atlas, active since at least 2014, has recently intensified its activities, particularly targeting Russian companies and state-aligned entities. This recent campaign by Cloud Atlas comes amidst the ongoing geopolitical tensions and war in Ukraine. Cloud Atlas is known for its sophisticated espionage tactics and has historically targeted a range of entities in Russia, Belarus, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Slovenia, and other regions. The group is state-backed and primarily focuses on espionage and the theft of confidential information. In its latest series of attacks, Cloud Atlas utilized a well-known method, phishing emails with malicious attachments. These emails are carefully crafted to appear legitimate, often mimicking government statements, media articles, business proposals, or advertisements, and are sent to lure victims into opening them. This tactic, while simple, has been effective for the group in the past and continues to be their modus operandi. The documents involved in these attacks generally contain links to malicious templates, which are downloaded from remote servers when the document is opened. This method has the advantage of often evading detection by antivirus software, as the document itself might not be flagged as malicious. The targeted sectors vary, with Cloud Atlas focusing on transportation, military radio electronics industries in Belarus, and government and energy facilities in Russia. Their approach is highly targeted, often involving reconnaissance documents sent initially to gather IP information about the victims. These preparatory steps help the group to refine their attacks and ensure that their malicious attachments are only accessible to the intended targets. The significance of these attacks lies in the strategic choice of targets, which aligns with the broader geopolitical interests and tensions in the region. Cloud Atlas' continued activity and evolving tactics suggest a persistent threat to entities within its areas of interest. This ongoing situation underscores the need for heightened cybersecurity measures. In regions of geopolitical tension, particularly in the backdrop of the Ukraine war, the group's choice of targets and timing of these attacks indicate a direct correlation with ongoing political and military developments. The techniques employed by Cloud Atlas are not just limited to phishing. Checkpoint Research and Positive Technologies, who have been closely monitoring Cloud Atlas's activities, note that the group has maintained a consistent strategy over the years, employing so-called template injection attacks. These attacks abuse features in Microsoft Word to deliver malicious payloads. The documents used in these attacks are usually highly customized for the specific target, making them almost undetectable as malicious. Moreover, Cloud Atlas's approach is notable for its precision. They closely control who can access their malicious attachments through a process of whitelisting targets. This targeted approach is a key aspect of their operations, allowing them to remain under the radar while effectively compromising high-value targets. Interestingly, despite the high profile of its targets and the sophistication of its methods, Cloud Atlas has made no significant changes to the core of its modular backdoor since its discovery in 2014. This suggests a high level of confidence in their methods and the effectiveness of their tools. The implications of Cloud Atlas's activities are significant. Their continued operations, targeting high-profile and strategically important entities, highlight the persistent risks of state-backed cyber espionage. It also underscores the evolving nature of cybersecurity threats and the need for robust, adaptive security strategies to protect sensitive information and critical infrastructure. Given the complex nature of these threats, Organizations in the targeted regions and sectors must remain vigilant and proactive in their cybersecurity measures. This includes regular security audits, employee training on phishing awareness, and implementing multi-layered security defenses. For a more detailed understanding of Cloud Atlas's activities and its implications, you can refer to the articles on All Info SEC News and the record by Recorded Future. Thank you to everyone who watched today's program. Remember, by following us, you become part of a reliable information and advice source. If you like the program, 
please press subscribe to join our community and be among the first to receive our latest news and programs. Don't forget to hit the like button and share our channel with your friends. Farewell, until we meet again. Equip yourself with the knowledge to protect your digital life. Become part of a growing community passionate about digital safety. Subscribe to World Cybersecurity News Channel and take charge of your cybersecurity journey.